She's, a, she's what we call gym rat. You know, we call mat rats, same thing. Chloe Deerwester may have been destined to the mat. Her father, Rob, was an All-American wrestler at Harrison High School, but even he had to be a little surprised when 10-year-old Chloe said this. I was like, Dad, I want to try this. Like, I think it'd be cool. He didn't really believe me at first because he was like, well, it's not really like a girl sport because at that time there was like no girls wrestling. So we gave it a shot and I'm here now. So. So she has become one of the best female wrestlers in the Midwest and in her freshman season was 6-0 and against boys. How did they react to that? Well, they don't really say much. <laughs> we actually had a duel that came down to the last match and she was the last match. We, she wins, we win, she loses, we lose. And she pulled out the win uh, for the team, so that was a big deal. Also a big deal, competing at the Ohio High School Girls Tournament last weekend. I was really nervous going into it. I was like <laughs> almost throwing up at my nerves. So. Well, her opponent should have been the nervous ones. Chloe swept her 106 pound class with four pins in four matches to become state champ. It was amazing. It was, it was definitely everything I thought it would be. And the reactions are amazing, more than I expected. Yeah, Chloe, a great young lady. And she was joined by Norwood's Elizabeth Banderas who was also a state wrestling champ last weekend, so we'd like to honor her as well. While girls wrestling is not yet sanctioned by the State Athletic Association, I'm told it will happen in the next few years. Mike and Cherie.